cocaine and heroin and marijuana. And so it becomes a, social, a destructive socio-political ploy to have a black market for drugs. Not to mention the fact that the Mexican drug cartels are the result of the, the United States policies with regard to drug use. So now we begin to see the big picture. Now, if we're going to talk about what the criminal power elite know, they know about macrobiotics, because I know for a fact that they do. I had a conversation, 1985, so that's what, 25, 6 years ago, with a, an older macrobiotic teacher and counselor who uh, started the um, first macrobiotic center on the west coast in uh, Hollywood. His name is Roy Stevens. And one day he took me aside and he said, Cora, I want to tell you something which is only for your ears. And he told me the following. He said, I've been counseling a certain individual, a man, who came to see me because he had cancer. And uh, so, I, you know, I gave him a counseling and his cancer began healed and he came to see me for follow-up from time to time and this particular individual was a member of a family that owns well Exxon was an oil company in existence at that time and this family owned quarter of Exxon stock so this family was definitely one of the members of the ruling criminal elite and this man's confided with Roy on one of the occasions that he had to come and see him for a follow-up. The we, the royal we, have known about macrobiotics since the day Michio Kushi set foot on these shores. But we are not going to allow you to tell the American people through the mass media, through the television and radio and newspapers, your story because we think we have everything under control and we don't want anybody messing up messing up our control so they know and of course on another occasion a woman came to see me for counseling for breast cancer and she'd been to the Mayo Clinic and she was insisting with her doctor the oncologist that she was seeing at the Mayo Clinic this took place probably about 87, 88, somewhere around there, that there must be something she could do to help herself. I mean, she was kind of like, you know, slamming her fist on the desk and saying, there has to be something I can do. And the oncologist sheepishly opened up one of the drawers on his desk and said, you know, really, I should not be doing this, but I'll give you this. And he handed a, a sheet of paper stapled together, and it was all macrobiotic information. So it's clear that the ruling criminal elite know about macrobiotic way of thinking and eating and they also know very clearly what impact that would have on the country. And they don't want that. So that's why macrobiotic way of eating has been slandered and being given a bad name through the mass media for so long. All right now, to return to this subhuman behavior, I can't go into the real details of that at this particular time from a spiritual standpoint because it requires some preparation. Actually, it requires a lot of preparation. But I'm going to give you that because we haven't finished with the whole problem of me yet. I mean, there's more things to be said. But I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to make it clear to you 
that they are formidable opponents of the common person in the United States. You know, the people like me, people who have no money, no influence. They have no constituency. They have no congregation. And it certainly does behoove us to realize that the single human individual is far greater than any state. And we need to really understand that and take that into consideration and live accordingly. That means taking back our freedom and becoming independent of the machinations of the ruling criminal elite and all their henchmen that operate all over the world, not just in the American government. Every government is infested with the same subhuman individuals subhuman behavior and it's really important to understand where this subhuman behavior comes from because it is thoroughly antisocial and it is thoroughly destructive in every respect imaginable that you can think of and so i'm going to finish on that note and uh Next time, I will continue to talk about further consequences of the consumption of animal protein on a daily basis. And hopefully that will be the last I'll have to say about that. And then the episode after that, I will talk about the spiritual reasons behind this subhuman behavior that is taking place at the highest levels of society everywhere in the world in every government church corporation now of course there are people that have good intentions and are quote unquote ethical and have integrity but they are totally ineffective, as can be witnessed by what's happening, to change this. Because then, as I said, a radical rearrangement, a radical, totally radical change needs to take place in terms of governance in the world. And this radical change has never been tried before. It is fundamentally a new concept that has come from Rudolf Steiner. And it's very important that we understand this and start to implement it. So on that note, I will bid you good night, good evening, good day, and good morning wherever you happen to be, and thank you very much.